Okay, tell me when we're, we're it's, on. It's recording. Okay, we're back on the air. I, I wanted to read this, beloved, before we close on this segment. Here's a letter from a friend of mine, John, and he wrote about this, what I'm trying to talk to you about, the serpent in the garden and the two trees, tree of knowledge, good and evil, and the tree of life. Dear Brother Mike, I have been reading your latest issue of GLC newspaper and want to thank you for the, the additional insight concerning the tree of knowledge as being planted by Satan instead of God. Uh, Yahweh Elohim instead of just Elohim, the two titles there in chapters 1 and 2. This makes great sense to me since I do not believe the tree bore seed bearing fruit and and was not fit for food in the first place. That's his opinion, but he goes on. There were to be no other trees of knowledge on earth than the one Satan planted in the garden. That's true. The tree of knowledge of good and evil is only in Genesis 2, and also in 3 it's mentioned. I cannot find any reference to, except in Matthew 12, I just read it to you, 31 and on, 33, Specific, make the fruit good or make it bad, make the right choice, Christ is saying there in Matthew, in Matthew 12, 33. Okay, but no place in the entire Bible after Genesis 2 and 3 is a tree of knowledge of good and evil ever mentioned. Not even one time. And it's certainly not in the New Jerusalem. So this tree of knowledge of good and evil was a temporary thing, and God only makes things that are eternal and last forever. Okay, so... He says, this is why the tree of life grows on both sides of the river of life in the New Jerusalem. The tree of knowledge and good and evil is uprooted or dies and is swallowed up in victory by the tree of life, which symbolizes Christ's victory over death. I thought that was a good comment, and I wanted to share it with you. And so, the tree of knowledge and good and evil uh, is, is a temporary thing, and well, the purpose of it was to be a test. And now we are here today and to understand we are standing the tree of knowledge of good and evil right now today. And we can go up to it and say, look, there's nothing wrong with this tree. It's one of God's good trees. You have put the wrong label on it. Satan's always putting wrong labels on things and people. Okay, so he's corrupted the earth. But praise the Lord, in the last days, our day right now, the Father is going to correct this problem, starting with us. And he's going to form an elect, 144,000, and he's going to finish this in our day. Well, let's have a prayer. Father, we thank you for your great love and mercy. And we pray that the people will have taken notes, or at least mental notes, and be willing to look at the websites. Thank you for hearing this prayer, doing more than we can ask or think. In Christ's holy name I pray. Amen. Thank you very much for listening.